Hi everybody, welcome to Sook Vibes. In today's video, we are going to cover six questions which are related to the topic of significance of speed. And this topic falls under the main topic of speed, distance and eco-friendly driving. Let's begin. Why must you not drive extra slowly for no good reason? So if you have no good reason, you should not drive extra slowly. Why? Because it encourages vehicles, drivers behind to overtake dangerously. So the vehicles which are behind you, they want to overtake you. And sometimes it could be very dangerous because it increases the danger of rear end collisions. That is clear. So if the vehicles are tailgating you, it increases the danger of rear end collision. So you should not drive extra slowly because it obstructs the flow of traffic. Yes, this is also correct because then the flow of traffic is not going to be smooth. It is going to be obstructed because of you, because you are the one who is driving extra slowly. Let's look at the answer. Our answer is correct. Moving towards the next. Where is fast driving particularly dangerous? At level crossings, yes. So it could be dangerous at level crossings. At road narrowings, yes. That makes sense. When the road is narrow, you should not drive extra fast. At blind corners, this is also correct. Whenever you are not able to see what is coming from the other side, there is a bend or there is a corner, there the extra driving fast is also dangerous. Let's look at the answer. Our answer is correct. Going towards the next. By which rule of thumb can you determine from the speed the distance in meters a motor vehicle travels in one second. Which rule of thumb you have to follow if a speed is given to you and you want to determine the distance a motor vehicle travels in one second? This is the formula. This you have to remember. Let's check our answer. Our answer is correct. Moving towards the next. What can lead to your dangerously underestimating your own speed? When you underestimate your own speed, when it could happen, driving for a long time at high speed. When you drive for a long time at high speed, you lose the feel of the speed. Driving on a good wide road when the road is good and wide and you are driving at a high speed, then you also lose the feel of the speed. When you hear loud engine and tire noise, they help us to detect that you are driving at high speed. But these two factors, they cause the underestimation of your own speed. Moving towards the next. In what situation does a driver frequently underestimate their own speed? So this question is similar to the previous one. On narrow roads with uneven road surface, no, because on narrow roads with uneven road surfaces, you are going to be extra cautious. On wide, well-finished roads, of course, on wide, well-finished, good roads, you are going to underestimate your own speed. After a long journey at high speed, this is also correct. Our answer is correct. Moving towards the next. Where does driving fast often lead to accidents? So when you are driving fast, where it can lead to accidents? On bends, this is clear. At crossroads and junctions, this is also clear. At pedestrian crossing, also. These are the places where you should always have to be extra alert and you have to approach them with a moderate speed. So if you want to cross the pedestrian crossing at higher speed and if there is a pedestrian who wants to cross the road, there could be extent. At crossroads and junctions, so if you have not observed the traffic signs or traffic lights and you are crossing the junctions at high speed, there would be accident. On bends, of course, because of the centrifugal force there could be an accident. Our answer is correct. So in this video, we have covered six questions related to significance of speed. Thanks for watching. If you have liked my video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you're interested in any particular topic, please feel free to write in comment section. Take care. See you next time.